One. Hello hey. everyone. My name is Quincy Chappelle. I am the owner and operator of Galleries of Quincy at Gems. And I am going to show you my beautiful establishment. Let's check it out. So guys, as he's showing us this, I just met him today and I was just blown away by the beautiful art that he has in here, his energy, what he's doing to promote other local artists, and uh, I'm gonna let him take it from here. Yeah, so uh, we opened about a, a year and a half ago, year and a half ago in April, and I wanted to show a gallery that not only features my work, but other local artists and national artists. I wanted to be that one gallery that's a little bit different than others. And I have a group of artists who are so talented. I'm very, very proud to represent. Um, for instance, here's my work here. Uh, I do my work on canvas. These are all pieces that I'm influenced, I'm influenced by the images of space, images of topographical maps, uh, geos, gemstones, semi-precious stones. But I call my pieces windows to your own imagination. Those are awesome. And we also have other local artists, an amazing new artist I just started to represent. His name is Ray Johnson. Beautiful and picture. We also have Scott Frederick. He tells his stories through abstract eyes. Really quick, can you tell us the story about this picture again? Yes, this this piece is called Nurture by Ray Johnson. He grew up being nurtured by African women. African, African American women, naturally. And I asked him, I said, why only black women do you paint? He said, well, because they, I respect them, they took care of me, and that's who I always want to paint. And this represents him and his mother and the, nurse, and the nurturing of the actual woman. Wow. They're fantastic. Yeah. And we also have Scott Frederick, who tells his stories through African through eyes. Let me come on this, this side. Is one of my favorite pieces by him. He's an amazing artist. He's an elementary school art teacher in Virginia Beach. And I've had his work ever since we opened. And he's one of my permanent artists. This one's called How You Use It. It's how you acquire the wisdom of knowledge that you acquire through life. And how you use it, basically. I like that. And you were saying that those are books over there, These right? These represent books. And then you come closer, you'll see that he uses pages from different books that represents the pages that you've read throughout your life. Oh, wow. As well. And if you notice really quickly, the owl is not that complete. That means that you never stop learning. I like how's, that. How's that? Yes. I like that. Then we also have another local artist. She's using stained glass in a new way as sculptures. Not as window features. Hmm. And her name is Donna Forehand. She's fairly new to the gallery. But they're so beautiful, so wonderfully made. Beautiful. And I'm very proud to have her as well. And over here, this is an artist named Brandon Kralik, who I worked with on Maui for many years. And uh, he still lives on Maui. Uh, he travels back and forth to Sweden. And I told him every t ever since, if I ever wanted to open a gallery, I would certainly feature his work. And here's some more of my work here. More of the windows to your own imagination. That is so cool. This one I was influenced by images of a Japanese, of a, an old Japanese art of a war of gods. Mm. And I call this piece the source. That is beautiful. Yeah. That is beautiful. Which, yeah. Is this the leopard one? No. No, mm -hmm. this one's called um, Gold Rush in Black Hills. I was actually flying over to visit my friend in Portland and we flew over the Black Hills of South Dakota. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I saw. So I wanted to emulate that. That is so cool. Yeah. I think that's a, that's extremely, that's a, that's talent, man. Yeah. Like, and this here is Cookies and Cream. I love Cookies talk. and Cream. <laughs> Everybody loves Cookies and Cream. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is also another one of Benet's chance to chair that's um, made out of Michael's motorcycle parts. She was a good friend of mine out of Maui as well. And we also have Kimberly Pullman, sort of new way of looking at uh, pop art. That's nice. She's influenced by the body, as you can 
can see as well. And then we have more. I didn't even realize the thing up top they have. That's really yeah, nice. Yeah, this she actually uh, did this herself. These are all sculptures that she welded herself. Uh huh. And that's part of the painting. I've never seen anything like this before. That's why I have it here at this gallery. Mm -hmm. where everything is different. Mm -hmm. And certainly over here, over here. One of my favorite artists I ever have, her name is Gia Labidi, a local artist. Notice this detail here, that's called the Japanese coil method. Wow. And she is self-taught and every one of her faces have the feeling of happiness, contentment, and um, I would say, what's the, what's the word for joy? Yeah, and it's all self, she self-taught herself, it's amazing. And one more artist, that's amazing. There's this artist here, his name is Mensa Bay. I wanna say I've seen his, that name somewhere before. He is a pretty popular artist um, around this area. And I have the pleasure of hosting four of his works. He's uh, influenced, his works actually are a mixture of the surrealism, Cubism and street art, if you will. And each one of the subject matter is what he called an agent, and it's spelled A J E N T. Oh. And A J is a friend of his that was unfortunately um, passed away. Oh. Um, and he's dedicating each one of his pieces towards his friend. And I think that's lovely. Yeah. That's awesome. So this is Gallery of Quincy I Get. It's way better in person. <laughs> Tell them when you're open. We are open. Uh, we're on uh, Mondays and Tuesdays. We're closed. Um, Wednesday and Thursday. We're open two to nine. Friday and Saturday, three to ten. Sunday, two to seven. Awesome. Well, we look forward to seeing you again. I will be back, and we'll have you on more lives. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. You guys, whoever's watching this, uh, put a comment in the chat of what your favorite picture was. And actually, if you're local, please come down and see him. I was please blown do. away. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Ciao. Later.